$23 billion. That is how much NASA has spent on its moon mission, and as we speak, there is still no promising outcome from that money. $23 billion of taxpayers' money, all gone. Meanwhile, a private sector without that significant government backing has made so much progress on its space programs that even NASA has no choice but to ask them for help. This is why the company famously known as SpaceX will be the one taking astronauts to the moon when the time comes, instead of NASA. And this video will show you why it is so. But first, we would appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. We always upload quality, factual, and informative videos every week to keep you informed about everything happening all over the world. So subscribe and stay subscribed. Thank you. The Apollo 17 mission in 1972 was the last time people went to the moon. Congress canceled three more projects that were supposed to follow because they were too expensive, too dangerous, and lastly, because the public and policymakers were losing interest. NASA instead worked on the space shuttle, the International Space Station, and a wide range of robots that explore the Earth and other planets. But even that was still expensive. If the subsequent moon mission was a success, maybe this video would have a different title, but instead, what NASA gave were excuses upon excuses for their failures. And yet, more money was still pumped into NASA. For example, NASA made it clear that the SLS would only fly every two to four years, which made people wonder if engineers could remain sharp and keep the mission safe with such a low number of launches, because the more you do something, the better you get at it. And NASA was already saying the best they could do was just two. Meanwhile, in 2022, SpaceX was sending rockets into space almost every week. Then there is also the proposed plan for the future, where new RS-25S will be used for launches for NASA. These will be made by Rocket Aerojet Rocketdyne at a cost of about $3.5 billion for 24 single-use engines, or about $145 million per engine, at a time when the trend in the private space sector is toward reusable rockets and engines. NASA's own inspectors recently said that a single launch of the rocket will cost $4.1 billion, which is eight times more than what the agency thought it would cost in 2013. NASA, seeing this, had no choice but to partner with Elon Musk's SpaceX, and it has been a partnership that has lasted years. Their recent mission, as of the time of this video, saw SpaceX Dragon spacecraft being used to deliver four astronauts to the International Space Station. NASA astronaut Jasmine Mugbali, ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen, JAXA astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Roscosmos astronaut Konstantin Borisov took off at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Their job is to use the microgravity laboratory to do research, technology demonstrations, and maintenance work. The flight is the eighth human space flight in NASA's commercial crew program and the seventh crew rotation trip to the station with SpaceX. Both the Dragon spaceship from SpaceX and the Orion capsule from NASA are both designed to take people into space. But there are some key differences between the two, and those differences are why SpaceX Dragon could be used for the moon mission. On one hand, the Orion ship is obviously out of date in terms of technology. Its control screens look like those on commercial airplanes from the 1980s, but they might be updated in the next two or three years. SpaceX has more updated tech and also won't change the Crew Dragon so that it can go on long trips in cislunar space. SpaceX already has contracts to send at least three crewed trips on the Artemis 3, Dear Moon, and Polaris 3 starships to the moon. Secondly, the Orion capsule has a volume of 9 cubic meters, which is three times that of the Apollo Command Module, while the space inside a starship is about 1,200 cubic meters, which is about the same as a big jet or a 3,500 square foot house. The Dragon spaceship is reusable and can land back on Earth. The Orion capsule, on the other hand, is not made to be used again and will be thrown away after each flight. This is why the cost is higher for NASA. For reference, imagine buying a new car every time you want to go out. The cost alone will wreck anyone. Even though NASA's Orion has some amazing features, we just have to accept the fact that SpaceX might just be better at safely delivering the astronauts to the moon, and also more economical thanks to its reusability. Earlier this year, the Falcon 9 rocket sent the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft to the space station. It was carrying more than 6,200 pounds of science experiments, crew supplies, and other cargo, and it completed its mission successfully. NASA's Artemis program has already chosen Starship as its first crewed lander, 
The SpaceX vehicle will be used on the Artemis 3 and Artemis 4 missions in 2025 and 2027 to land astronauts near the South Pole of the Moon. If everything goes as planned, we could see not just people visiting the Moon, but actually staying this time around. That's all we have for you today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and the like button so we know you loved it and can continue producing videos like this. Also, hit the little bell so you get notified with new updated videos just like this. Thank you for watching. Till next time.